Now that the heading tape is secure, the last step is to finish off the bottom corners of the curtains. You're going to fold this section under to hide the edge and then hand sew it in place. Tie a knot in the end of your thread and then pass the needle through the bottom corner of the curtain. Continue sewing about 5cm along the bottom of the lining to secure it in place. You'll have to repeat this on all of the other bottom corners. Now that the curtains are finished and all that hard work's been done, it's time to hang them up and admire them. But first of all, you need to pull the strings in the curtain heading tape to create those lovely gathers. At one side of the heading tape, gently pull the strings so they've got a bit more length and then tie a knot in them. And this will help to secure them while you pull from the other side. At the other end of the curtain tape, grab the three strings and start to pull them. You have to keep moving the gathers all the way down the curtain. It can be quite hard work, but remember this is the last stage. Once you've got some gathers to work with, you'll have to measure the top edge of the curtain. Remember, we made each curtain the length of the whole curtain pole, but the curtain will only cover half of it. Once you're happy it's at the right width, tie a knot in the strings at the other end. You'll then have to spend some time evening out the gathers between these two points. With the extra lengths of string, just tuck them behind the heading tape. Now you need to insert the curtain hooks into the heading tape, making sure you put one in the first and last set of loops. Once all the hooks are in place, you're now ready to hang up the curtains. Your curtains might be quite heavy, so it's a good idea to get help for this bit. It's so satisfying to see them hanging up. They feel much thicker than any curtains I've made before and already it's starting to feel cosier in here. I hope you've been inspired to give this project a go and make your home more energy efficient.